Hey guys, it's Kat, and today we're going to be showing all my fidgets, so let's just get started. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to Isle of Jolly Ranchers, and um, I got this idea from her. Um, and yeah, go check out her channel, subscribe, and like her videos, so let's just get started. So as you can see in my hand, I have the Neato. It's color changing. And yeah, that's my first one. Then, then I have my Earth Stress Ball. It's so hard, but I like for some reason. Um, then I have this Mesh Stress Ball. It also lights up. Um, then I have my Ferris wheel. It's really big. It's made, it's made out of the metal part, uh, metal part of the clothespin. So, yeah. Then I have my water mat. If you're wondering what this is, this is my fidget bin. I carry my fidgets in there. Um, but yeah, this is my water mat. Next, I have my little, like, fidget kind of, it's, it's like a fidget bar. And yeah, I really recommend it. Next is a water stress ball. Another water stress ball. A clay stress ball. And another water stress ball. So there, um, I used to love making stress balls when I start, when I started, like, collecting fidgets, because I never had, like, I started making fidgets out of the things I had, and I started buying balloons for stress balls, so this is, like, one of the most things I've made. Next is my tiny little Ferris wheel. Um, next... Is my Orby stress ball. Um, and yeah. Also, guys, I do have a poppet. I just don't know where it is right now. I I'm not exactly sure, but it is orange. So yeah. Next um, is my DIY poppets. Uh, basically, like a water bottle. I did. I really wanted a poppet before I had a real one. And I made plastic ones. Sorry, it's really loud, but like, yeah. Next is my newest item, actually. It's one of my newest. It, let me show you closer. So this is, if you can't see, it has like um, beads in it. Let's let focus, but if you can see colorful things there, those are beads. And there's some, um, there is some water and soap in there. So, yeah. Um, I forgot how it is blue. Um, I don't remember, um, why it's blue. But yeah, I really like it. And it's one of my newest. So, and I also put a tie and, um, actually, I Love Jolly Ranchers did a video a day ago, and, um, she made a, like, beaded water thing. I Love Jolly Ranchers, if you're watching this, I recommend double bagging, because it will not leak, um, it won't leak as easily. It, it could still leak, but it's better to put a double bag because double bags have always worked for me when I do my fidgets for, like, water. So, yeah, I recommend that if you guys are ever making fidgets or Kate, and I'm not, sorry, I love Jolly Ranchers. If you're watching this, then I'd recommend double bagging. So, let's get back on one if you guys are wondering on my bed, I, um, I just, my room 
I just want, um, I thought this was the best place to shoot in my room, so yeah. Let's get my thing back over here. Next is my, oh my. Sorry guys, I got a new tripod and I cannot work. Okay. Next is my pink one. It is my pink one. Um, yeah, it's my pink one. Ice. Ice pack, yeah, ice pack, and yeah. You hear my ice pack? And yeah. And then another poppet. Um, guys, things may show up a lot in this video. They're the same, so yeah. Another plastic poppet. So I made a little beaded bracelet. But I don't really like it as a bracelet, so I just use it as a fidget. And yeah, I really like it. Um, and if you guys are wondering where to get, um, like, the stretchy stuff, I recommend going to the Dollar Tree. And I think I have it in my fidget bin right now, actually. Um, I thought I did, but, um, it is basically just like stretchy lace and it's amazing you just gotta tie like big knots if you can't see i'm sorry um big knots like that and yeah but i don't recommend using your hair bands um hair bands so yeah next is the the top of a soap like a like a soap or a lotion or like a lotion you would get like a a um like a hotel yeah a hotel so yeah I use this as a fidget. Next, I have my necklace fidget. Um, I used this as a necklace, but I didn't like it as a necklace, and it kind of hurt my throat. Because I was going to make a choker out of it. I know, I'm just saying, I'm not good at making jewelry. But, yeah, I didn't like it that much. So I used it as a fidget, too. <laughs> That's also a new fidget, because I made it, like, yesterday. Um, and, yeah, it was really nice. Um, I actually, when I made it, I was gonna, I actually went to the movies yesterday. Um, and I watched the new Tom and Jerry movie. I recommend, I recommend it a lot. It was actually a really good movie. So, yeah. Um, and I was gonna do fidget trading with. I love Jolly Ranchers, and, um, but she forgot her fidget, so, yeah. But next, I have my joystick. They're really easy to make. Um, I may make, I may make a tutorial, so, yeah. Next, I have a, um, I forgot what it's called, but, like, um, it's like where you roll on your finger, but I made a homemade one out of beads, and I actually really like it. I recommend it a lot, so, yeah. Next, I have a little homemade pop tube. It's just the, it's the straw, like, it's the part where you can stretch out and you can bend it. And yeah, I recommend these as well. Next, I have this homemade, like, I don't know what to call it, but yeah. It's like little cuts in it and it can pull. So yeah, it's also made of straw. And next, this is actually something I made. I never had any inspiration or anything. Um, and yeah, this, I call this a swing. So this is a, um, like for sewing, you know, those pins you put in 
like a sewing pin. Well, I stuck that through four straws and I, um, and it can swing. I call it a swing. And you also want, like when you're making it, since it's sharp on the end, you want to fold it. So yeah. This is, I made this by myself. And yeah. Next, it's another plastic poppet. I have so many of those. Um, this is a really bad poppet. I don't know when I made this, but yeah, it's just tape and a water bottle thing. I don't like it, so yeah. Mm. Oh, next is this. I cut the top of the straw and it goes like that. Guys, I am so sorry if I'm not looking at you guys right because there is a camera right here, but I'm looking right here. So, yeah, if I'm looking that way, that means I'm just looking at myself. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at the camera as good as I can is the, the best I can, so, yeah. Next is my homemade Simple Dimple. Really obsessed, so. This is really big. I may not, I may have to do a part two. So, yeah. This is mixed slime I made. So, it is Flarp. Mixed with some putty from, uh, like some slime from Target. And it's actually really squishy and I really like it. And it's really sticky and I love it. And it smells good because I put like scents, a scent in it. And I'm really, sorry, that was just this. And this one, oh no, no. Uh, this is a little koala thing. And this is the putty I got. It says noisy putty on it. So. Yeah. And I also made that slime more than that. These, these are Thirshy water bottles. I'm in love with these. These are one of my first fidgets. And yeah. Um, next is my bag of beads. Sometimes I will use this as a fidget. Um, there's some stuff. But yeah, I'll use this as a fidget, but I also use it for fidgets, so it's not really a fidget. It won't be a fidget anymore after I use all of these, but yeah. Oh, there's some fell. It's like a big thing. Um, next is some water and beads. Um, it's kind of like Isla John Ranchers, but mine isn't filled. I actually made this before I watched the video, but yeah. I put a lot of beads and just a tiny bit of water. And it's really nice. And yeah. Next is my putty. I also got from Target. And it's like blue. And I put it in a Tic Tac bottle. So yeah. This is my lotion stress ball. And it's not, it's really crinkled up. And yeah, it's not really good anymore. But I still kind of like it. So, yeah. Um, my fidget board will be at the end. My fidget board isn't that good. I'm actually going to make a new one soon. So, yeah, please do not judge. Um, next is another, um, is another fidget, like, is another poppet. I have so many of those, I swear. Another swing. Another pop tube. Another, like, thing. Another swing. Um, more poppets. More of these straw things. I have a lot of them. Okay, so these, um, I only have two more fidgets. And, no, like, I have two more single fidgets and I have my fidget board. And, yeah. So. I have my straw tangle. 
I'm actually in love with this. It's a straw tangle. I just taped two straws together. And this one is holding by one string. Oh, I need to tape it. But I actually made this. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah. Then I have slideys. I call these slideys. Um, I don't know why I call them slideys. But yeah, these are plastic bags, but they slide. And I have a lot of them, as you can see. So yeah. Okay, this is my last thing. And guys, they do have squishies, but I don't really compare them as fidgets, because, yeah. This is my fidget board. So here I have, like, a little sponge. I have some tin foil. There's, like, stuff. Some straws. One of them has, like, one of them is, like, the pop tube, and then one of them is just regular. Something came off here. Um, I've actually put a slidey here, but it kept coming off. And now I just have some Q-tips. Go. And, yeah. So, that is actually all my fidgets. Um... I am very proud of them. I actually love my fidgets. It's not like I don't play with them. I actually love them and I play with them so much. It's just, uh, yeah. Uh, and I would not recommend bringing these to school just because your teachers may steal them or take them away from you playing in them in class, um, and yeah, um, I, you, I would recommend bringing them somewhere where there's not, like, teachers, or it's kind of like, maybe like, um, maybe like your first day of summer camp somewhere, or your first day of camp. This is a good thing to have with you if you ever bring it to a camp. Um, and yeah, I actually do not recommend the poppet for school. Um, I have actually gotten in trouble with it, so have some other people in my class. So I would not recommend bringing it after I got in trouble. I did not bring it anymore. Um, my teacher took it and put it on a desk, and then at lunch I asked to put it away, and she said yes. But... I don't recommend bringing any school, but if it's your first day of school, I recommend bringing a quiet fidget. Maybe like your Ferris wheel or something really quiet. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I want you to subscribe to this channel. If you did not know, um, I can show you the channel that I want you to subscribe to. Uh, and yeah, so I'll show you, and here it is, I love Jolly Ranchers, and yeah, hopefully you guys saw that, I can't turn my camera around, um, I don't know why the camera won't turn around, but I love Jolly Ranchers, yeah, you can kind of see it backwards. And I recommend her very much. And please subscribe to me and her channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.